Hello, this is Smanto Day and welcome to my lessons, SD lessons. Let me deal with a beautiful poem, a sonnet, Ozymandias by P.B. Shelley, Percy Bishy Shelley. Look at the picture very carefully, what it shows, look at these. Two huge legs made of stone. And here is one nearby, lies one head, a visage, a face. And all around you find nothing but sand. All around, whatever you see nearby, all around sand. This poem is all about this, but the meaning is very deep. That is what we are going to see. Now, let's see what did... The poets say here, he says that he met a traveler from an antique land, from an ancient land. You imagine uh, Egypt, you can imagine Greece. The picture at least depicts that from Egypt. So he meets a traveler from an antique land who says that, that he saw two vast and trunkless legs. These are the legs. Trunkless, there is no body, there is no body. The body is broken, the head has also fallen nearby, you can see that. And it is, it is in the sand and deeply embedded in the sand and there is nothing else. And you can see a pedestal on which the legs stand. You can see that. So two vast and trunks, trunkless legs, a stone stand in the desert near them now that is what we can also see very clearly now what is said next half sunk a shattered visage now this is the visage this is the face it is shattered it is shattered it is destroyed it is eroded but there is some kind of expression we can see in this face what is that expression frown angry annoying not happy Lips, look at the lips, it is wrinkled, look at the lips, it is wrinkled, wrinkled lips. And sneer of cold command, sneer means uh, insulting, that is making a mockery of others, insulting, of cold command. It gives a command, a cold, a fear down the spine, it, that creates fear, not warmth, cold command, tells that its sculptor well those passions read. Now, from this figure, it is very clear that the sculptor who met this read the behavior of the king very well. This is the king Ozymandias. He read it very well. That's why he could make it so well. And the expression he has read very well. And he has stamped. The king has gone long away. But the expression still lies, it is still surviving, the expression. We can see the expression on the lips here. We can see the expression, the frowning expression in the eyes and the forehead. We can see that, that this man was proud, hatred for others, sneer and contempt. He had contempt for others, hatred for others. He used to think himself great, huge, and others tiny, too small, insignificant. So this is what we can make out from this, which has these inner meaning. And the hand, the sculptor, mocked them, mocked this. He made this statue and he made, he gives a meaning to it. He mocked because the king was proud. He made it clear. He made it evident from this sculpture. And with that heart, the sculpture made this. You can see the pedestal here. You can see the pedestal here. What is written there? It is written, my name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Ozymandias is the king of kings. Look on my work, e mighty and despair. Full of pride. The Whatever is mentioned here, that shows that the king was full of pride and used to consider almighty, all-powerful, full of strength, 
never thought that he can end some day never thought that so this huge thing this huge thing this huge head this huge legs which was created at the order of this great king some 100 or 1000 years ago no more stays it's all all fallen and shattered and is on the low sandy area what does the message what is the message the message is no matter how powerful how strong how great one is it will never last some day it will end and the message is very clear to the ordinary people that we should not be proud of our position if we rise to remain humble because we have we have come up from the earth and some day we will be also destroyed and go back to the earth into this low level sand like the like the huge statue of ozymandias i hope children you have understood it well today i will take leave i will end here thank you children keep watching keep reading love these poems i really love it bye bye